All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Wahabra Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Citations to Akim across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and maturity. And, uh, you know, this is going to be a quick lesson. Uh, I'm out and about. So, you know, the times that we're coming into, <laughs> it spoke of in uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. That it's supposed to be a time like never before. All right, Jacob's trouble, you know, and uh, ultimately because the, Yahweh Shem Yashai called us in this truth to give us salvation, man, either to save us or to condemn us. But if we are on the the right side of Yahweh Shem Yashai, if we're we're striving for the truth unto death, the Lord promised to save us, and this prophesy He's going to save a remnant of His people during the worst times coming. You see, when Esau comes down with great wrath, all of these things, man, the Lord has promised a certain way out through him only, you know, and through his salvation and through his mercy, all right, in however shape, form, or fashion it comes in, okay? So the Lord got, the Lord is going to protect his servants, it's written, he's going to have them to eat, he's going to have them to drink and laugh and to be merry and have abundance, in the time of other people's afflictions that's coming. And we see the afflictions coming upon these people, man. These people are catching it, man. But the Lord has put a spirit on us to separate from them so that we may be saved, man. All right, this is um, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time so what's coming is going to be a time of trouble a time for the wicked to get there and receive their judgments and their stripes okay but us through the spirit of power how about shamel shy we have a confidence and we have a hope to continue through it and that's what the lord wants to see that we and that's going to help us endure to the end all right whether it has to be by death you can pray to the yahweh shamel shy that he gives you the spirit to endure that if that may be your lot. You know? But ultimately, salvation is going to come to them who teach the word in truth and in sincerity. You see? It says, Such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book the book is talking about the scriptures man the book of life okay so if we are that remnant spoken of in the scriptures all right written in the scriptures to make it from the foundation of the earth <clears throat> the lord is going to send some type of salvation our way and he's going to send help to us during these times which is going to culminate ultimately into that salvation all right and we have to have faith in that which is written because we have nothing else. Like Hebrews, the 11th chapter says, man, that whole chapter goes into faith. And that's this is our faith that during the rough times, during the times to come, during the hours of temptation, the Lord said, I will deliver thee from the same as well. So it's all types of scenarios where the Lord spoke of saving us, delivering us, feeding us. And that's the type of spirit we have to ingraining ourselves because that builds our faith because we're having faith that the Lord is going to do what he said during these times as long as we're doing what we're supposed to be doing on our end towards him and that's what the, the Lord wants as well the effort you know to the best of your ability keeping the law as a commandment to the best of your ability teaching the word now we have to do it every day okay so the Lord is tightening up the Lord wants to see our diligence so that he could give us the salvation. So that he, so that it comes, salvation and help comes in the times of need, man. All from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. This is, um, bear me one second. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. Another, another uh, uh, situation going into how the Lord will provide protection and deliverance. Isaiah 59 and 19, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun 
when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So the Lord, that's also a part of the Lord's salvation, a standard. Okay. Okay, the definition for standard. Wait one second. Try to get it in the blue letter. You got niggas out here running around, of course. Looking at you all in the face and shit. And those are going to be ultimately the people that get destroyed. The Lord is not dealing with them. Two thirds of our people are about to be cut off and die, and they don't even understand and realize what's going on because they want to stay in the spirit of Babylon. But they have been uh, ordained to that that condemnation, as the scripture says, that lot. Be one second, fifty nine. Strong's H fifty one twenty seven. Noose. Noose. Okay, so it says for the word standard, it says to flee or escape, to take flight. To depart, disappear, to take flight hastily, abate away. So the Lord is going to abate danger from us by setting up a standard. He's going to make, he's going to put up a wall of defense against the times to come for us. And during the times when Esau comes in like a flood, he's going to lift up a standard on the way for us to get out of the situations. However, he may do that. We don't know what the Lord is going to do. <laughs> You see, be displayed. So it's gonna. The Lord's gonna show how His power is going to be used. He's gonna display His powers. It says here, man. It says to hide, lift up a standard, impale, deliver. Okay, deliver. That's key. The Lord is going to deliver His elect, which we hope to be, man. It's written in all sorts of uh, uh, situations. The Lord is going to deliver them out of them. Uh, let me get this. Give me one second. Let's see here. This is a uh, second. Give me one second. Let's see here. This is Proverbs chapter three, verse twenty-five. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. So Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to deliver his elect. He's going to protect us if we continue to stay inside the sheepfold. Okay, however the Lord may do it, and it's going to be in all types of ways. The Lord, nothing is impossible. We Yahweh Hashem Shai, thus saith the scriptures. And that is our confidence, which means our that is our faith. Because that word confidence goes back into the word faith, with faith. You see? This is a... Uh, this is Psalms 124 and 1. And I'm going to read this down and I'm going to get on out of here because I don't want to make it too long because the Lord has written all throughout the scriptures that it's going to be sit lots of situations taking place, a time as never before. But the Lord has written through the scriptures that he's going to deliver us out of any of these situations that we may go through if we keep the faith in him and the confidence in him. This is uh, Psalms, I believe it's 124, Psalms 124 and 1, a song of degrees of David. Our king, if it had not been the Lord, Yahweh, who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been Yahweh who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quickly when their wrath was kindled against us. All right, so Esau is getting angry. It says in Revelation 12 that he's going to come down with great wrath. But who's going to be saved out of that? The elect. Even if you're thrown into a concentration camp or a, a jail cell, 
the Lord can deliver you out of the cell and put you back on the street. You see? The Lord may have you in there for days and then they just let you out. Anything is possible with you. How about Shemiah Shai? And we have to think positivity. All right, which is what uh, Elder Lahab and uh, the Great Millstone Chicago King was saying. We have to think positive thoughts towards Yahweh Bashem Yahushai so that he could bring positive outcomes for us, <laughs> which is his deliverances and his salvation through the times to come. Psalms 24 and 4, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. And it's, it's, this is talking about Esau coming in. And he's going to come down. He's going to come in on our, our two thirds of our people in these hoods and these neighborhoods, wherever our people are all over the world. But the elect are going to make it out of that because they have a deliverance written by Yahabashim Yahushai for them. And then we have to keep our confidence and faith in that. Psalms 24, 124 and 5. Then the proud waters had gone over, over our soul. Blessed be Yahweh who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of Yahweh by Shami Shai, who made heaven and earth. And that is our confidence. That is our help. <laughs> All right. That is what we are expecting from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for doing the work and also trying to grow ourselves to the best of our ability so that we please the Lord. Okay? So let me get one more and I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, let's see here. One second. This is uh, the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 19. Let's see if I can get it started up a little bit. No, this is uh, Job 5 and 19. It says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee, man. And that's, a, that's written. And the Lord, it says in the scriptures that the Lord is a man that he cannot lie. So things written in these scriptures is going to take place. The Lord is going to defend his elect. And that's why we strive to be them, that hopeful elect. Because we want that deliverance that's written all throughout these scriptures. We don't want the devastation and the destruction and death and chaos and agony and pain that all these other people on the face of the earth are about to experience, man. Okay. Verse 20. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. That is, these are incredible words, man. In war, times of war are brewing now. But the Lord said he shall deliver us from the power of the sword, man. We're feeble worms, like it tells you in the book of Isaiah. Jacob is a worm. But Yahweh said, I will help thee, O thou worm Jacob. And that is our confidence, man. That's, our, that's my faith. That's our faith in this truth. Because we don't have much else. We are like enough to worms, man. It says, in famine, Job 5 and 20, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. <laughs> you see? Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh, man. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. It says, And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shall not sin. Okay? So that was really it. The point was in 5 and five and 19 through, tw through uh, 23, man. Those are promises that and they sound like 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 situations of deliverance, man. And that's what we hope we hope in. 
And that's what we trust in as far as Yahweh Hashem Yashai and his things written, man. He's a man and he cannot lie. So Lord willing, I was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahabra Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. A great millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scripture. Salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and Abba Baba.